Sergio Perez deserves better than to have to stomach prejudicial remarks from a senior figure in Red Bull's F1 operation and maybe now something is finally going to permanently change. Red Bull finally seems to be willing and able to take action on the way Helmut Marko has repeatedly made discriminatory comments about Perez which really needs to stop. Last week Marco questioned Perez's supposed Mexican mentality which was just the latest of many derogatory comments about where Perez comes from made in a critical context. Previously there have been quotes from Marco suggesting Perez shouldn't be scared about a nearby missile strike in Saudi Arabia because Mexico City, the place Perez isn't even from, is also dangerous and Marco's joke that Perez may have been drinking tequila the night before a race because he was asleep at a safety car restart. Twice now Marco has indicated that Perez is inconsistent because he is South American with the most recent example of that point and geographical error coming last week when Marco said Perez's head is not as focused as that of European drivers Max Verstappen or Sebastian Vettel. Whether he meant this or not, Marco's subsequent attempt to explain away that remark to Austrian outlet OE24 ended up a doubling down on his original comments by saying he just meant a Mexican has a different mentality to a German or a Dutchman which is exactly what everyone inferred from his original comment in the first place, hence the controversy. This was eventually followed by an actual apology in German and English issued via the same service TV platform that had hosted the original interview. The Red Bull owned channel's website posted the statement from Marco in which he apologised for the offensive remark, said it's not right to make generalisations about people from any country, race or ethnicity and that while making a point about Perez's fluctuating performances it was wrong to attribute this to his cultural heritage. Nice and from the heart right? While Red Bull clearly uh, coaxing Marco into this apology has symbolic value which we'll come to later, it seems as though Marco genuinely doesn't seem to understand why this is a problem, which is pretty much the problem. It's one thing to scrutinise or even criticise Perez as an F1 driver for his performance, it's quite another to lazily assert that perceived deficiencies exist because he is Mexican. It would seem odd if Marco set out to offend Perez or anyone else, but that doesn't really matter, not least because ignorance is not an excuse for someone so prominent who has done this so often. His various previous remarks make it clear that Marco believes the Mexican mentality is not only a real thing, but absolutely a factor to consider in explaining problems within Perez's performances. To Marco, all his comments along these lines were probably indiscriminate observations and he probably thinks this has been blown out of proportion. They weren't and this hasn't. Marco has single-handedly turned the idea of anti-Mexican sentiment into something tangible and proves the threat is real. Perez has raised concerns about anti-Mexican sentiment in F1 before. After winning last year's Singapore Grand Prix, Perez said his previous rough patch of form of one podium in five races that were won by teammate Max Verstappen had been exaggerated by the F1 media and even suggested it may be because of his nationality. We remember that because some of our coverage at the time is what Perez was referring to. But any scrutiny of his performance by us never came from any anti-Mexican sentiment and Perez seemed to accept that when we talked about it at the very next race. We actually had a very open back and forth on the topic as Checo answered several questions about the treatment of drivers from Latin countries, what his experience through his career and the legacy he hopes to leave. That's why we can say with certainty why Perez's concerns of anti-Mexican sentiment exist and how long he's had them for. Perez felt and probably still feels now that whenever you have a bad race or a difficult run of form then there is more criticism for Latin drivers whereas others from Europe get away with it. He said he's felt that through his career and still feels that way now hence pointing it out. But he also said as a sports person he drew motivation from it and didn't take it too personally. Perez suffered from loneliness in his early years racing in Europe, having flown from Mexico to Germany on his own at 15 years old on a one-way ticket when he had the chance to compete in Formula BMW in 2005. And that was exacerbated by feeling like his credibility as a racing driver was questioned too. He specifically references things like being accused of being lazy because he's Mexican and feeling like some people believed because of his nationality that he couldn't compete with the best. Checo stressed that this was mainly in the early years and we can sit here in this video, speak for ourselves and claim it isn't true in F1 but when someone as senior and influential as Marco is saying exactly the stuff that has impacted Perez in the past regardless 
regardless of whether Marco's joking or not, then why wouldn't Checo think this way now? If anyone believed Perez was fictionalizing such stereotyping or discrimination, then Marco's comments are a clear counter-argument. We're not saying that this means Checo will hate Marco or this will drive a wedge between them, although it will be interesting to see if Marco misses any races now, especially the upcoming Mexican Grand Prix. And as recently as the Italian Grand Prix, Perez stressed in interviews that his relationship with Marco isn't how it looks in the media or is made out. He said they get on well and Marco has always supported him. On a general level, there is no reason to doubt this and it may well still be the case. Only Perez can say and will surely hear what he thinks during the upcoming Singapore Grand Prix weekend. But these specific incidents can't be easy for Perez to stomach or overlook based on what he said in the past. And if that's the case, then it shouldn't be on him to just grin and bear it. Perez ended a 30-year wait for a Mexican F1 driver when he made his debut in 2011 and has gone on to become his country's most successful driver, eclipsing Pedro Rodriguez by winning six races. By the time his current Red Bull deal runs out, he will be one of the most experienced drivers in F1 history and his hope has been that young Mexicans are inspired by his career. Red Bull needs to support that, not be an obstacle to it. And the fact Marco had been allowed to get away with previous comments wasn't particularly supportive. But Red Bull has taken an important step to rectifying that, even if it is only a first step. You might wonder why Red Bull Racing didn't do anything about it publicly. Well, the simple answer is he's not a Red Bull Racing employee and he's not their official spokesperson. He's an advisor affiliated with the parent company Red Bull GmbH, who has previously only ever answered to Dietrich Mateschitz, the man behind the Red Bull F1 empire and Marco's longtime friend. So while Marco does represent the Red Bull brand when he appears on Red Bull's channels, wears Red Bull team gear at races and wields obvious influence on Red Bull's F1 operation, he exists independently of the Red Bull racing team structure. He's previously been allowed by the Red Bull side to be a loose cannon. As a result, Marco is not accountable to anyone within Red Bull Racing, which could not unilaterally do something even if it wanted to. Outwardly, it looks super easy to issue a statement distancing the team from his comments or condemning him, but if the team doesn't actually have the authority to do that, it can't. What it does or says relating to Marco needs to follow Red Bull GmbH's lead, although with that in mind, it would have been good to see Red Bull Racing sharing or acknowledging the eventual apology. Why it didn't, only those within Red Bull know for now, but there was a bigger symbolic win. Marco's behaviour has been a problem that only the parent company could address in the past and it never did. Now it has, because there's been a key change since the death of Mateschitz last year. There's a new broom sweeping through Red Bull. There have already been suggestions of Marco locking horns with Oliver Mintzlaff, the chief executive of corporate projects and investments whose remit covers the Red Bull Racing and Alpha Tauri F1 operations. Absorbing the F1 teams into a more corporate setup means the likes of Marco suddenly exist in a defined structure where accountability is not optional. Marco wasn't a fan of that when it started, and although he's played down any rift, matters like this are only going to stress test that relationship. This was an opportunity for Red Bull to show who's really in charge and show what kind of company it wants to be. It marks a serious shift that Marco was pushed to take responsibility for what he has said. And we're pretty sure that Red Bull Racing was putting pressure on the parent company to take this action. If Red Bull did nothing, then nothing would change. Marco would remain unchecked, he'd have been able to have shrugged it off as an unexpected fuss, and the cycle would likely repeat. Perez, among others, deserves more than that. Red Bull was right to stand by its driver and stand up to a previously untouchable figure, but doing it once isn't going to be enough.